Hey everybody, just wanted to do a quick update uh, to a couple titles. I'm actually going to try and catch up on some of the stuff I've missed. This past week sort of became a lot busier than I was originally expecting. So I want to actually try and do as many videos as I can. But I decided instead of doing one long video, I'm actually going to break them up. So I do want to mention right out of the gate that Grindhouse releasing has a new title announcement which is actually pretty cool because after they release all of their pretty much most of their titles in there that they have licensed already on blu-ray so this new one they announce is the tough ones from 1976 which is an umberto lenzi film well the description reads a tough violent cop who doesn't mind bending the law goes after a machine gun carrying hunchback psychotic killer if that just doesn't sound like something we all want to watch uh, i know i definitely do no more details on the release they basically just released the cover so what they might do which is what they've done in the past is just do sort of a small limited theatrical run of it and then release the blu-ray after that another update to savage streets which i sort of mentioned in a previous video that is up in the coming soon section of roninflix.com which uh, i believe i don't know if it's an exclusive to roninflix or whether or not it'll be on there and then eventually on diabolic you know there wasn't much more beyond the cover that was released but it does actually look like so it says previously remastered in high definition which means i think they're just using the existing HD master that they used in their last release, uh, which is fine because I haven't watched it in a while, but I remember it looking really good. And honestly, you know, with a new encode, I think it'll actually just even look that much better. And they are bringing over, it looks like, a lot of the existing extras from the two-disc DVD from back in the day, which uh, was very much lacking in the previous Blu-ray release, which pretty much had almost no extras. I think it just had the trailer. So they're bringing over those, and they do actually have some new interviews with some of the cast and the producer. This is definitely something I'm going to pick up, because I do I do love Savage Streets. So, so because it's on Ronin, it's going to be one of those where literally just going to all of a sudden be up for sale one day. Uh, you know, they'll be announced that it's like, okay, it's up for sale. But I'd say, honestly, this could pretty much drop any day now. It wouldn't even surprise me if it's maybe even sometime this week. So for any of you interested like me, just maybe keep an eye on uh, Ronin Flix for for when that goes up for sale. Also an update for the upcoming Halloween 4K release. So they announced, now I, I wanna say this is all on the 4K release, but again, I don't know for sure, you know, as opposed to being on a Blu-ray that's with it or something, but I, this actually might be on the 4K disc. So it does say there's a commentary track with John Carpenter and Jamie Lee Curtis. Now I'm assuming this is probably the same one that was done for the Criterion Laserdisc, which has been on several other releases since then. And uh, it also features Deborah Hill. So it, even though she's not listed, I, I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess that that actually is pretty much the same one, which is fine. It's a great commentary track. And it comes with uh, pretty much some pre-existing extras. The Night She Came Home, a featurette on location 25 years later, some of the TV version footage. Now, I don't know whether or not, I doubt the TV version stuff has been transferred to 4K or anything. Uh, trailer, TV spots, and some radio spots. And the thing is, too, the audio. So it has the 7.1 remix, and it has the mono one as well. I'm going to hopefully assume that the mono is the original mono mix and not the just a down convert of the remix 7.1 now it does say it has dolby vision and hdr presentation which is good but i literally have no clue what the master is i don't know whether or not it's an existing master for example is it the 35th anniversary because I, I believe that was a 4k remaster so if that's the case, then it's just a matter of just converting that to UHD, which honestly should look fantastic. Considering I've, I haven't seen anything in regards to a transfer, that would be my guess, but I don't know for sure. Also, another update to Maximum Overdrive, because it seems like a day can't go by without anything about Maximum Overdrive. Now, this has actually been out for a bit, and I actually wanted to put this in a, a video. So uh, a couple of people have asked about certain things in regards to Maximum Overdrive, and uh, Michael Felcher, who produced uh, the Blu-ray release, he also, he runs Redshirt Pictures, who does a lot of the extra content 
um, on videos. He's been doing it for 15 years, I think, at least. He's done a lot of the extras on, like, Scream Factory releases. Even going back earlier to that, I think he was doing stuff back in, like, the Anchor Bay days and uh, Synapse and a couple other companies as well. So he's been involved with the Vestron line through Lionsgate. And he did post this on Facebook, answering some of the uh, the questions he's been asking about it. He posted... So it has finally been announced. Maximum Overdrive will be part of the Vestron line from Lionsgate. This was a huge project for me, and I wanted to take a moment and clarify some things for those of you with questions out there. Number one, Stephen King was approached to be involved, and he politely declined to participate. I don't know the reasons why, and that's his business. I will say that he got back with me very quickly and was very cordial about the whole thing. A class act, and while his involvement would have been beyond amazing, I truly appreciate the fact that he responded to me at all. You wouldn't believe how many people don't even bother to do that, and none of those people are as busy as Stephen King. Number two, the uncut footage, probably the most asked about thing. I, as well as many others, scoured the globe for any trace of the now legendary gore and material cut from the film prior to its release in 1986. We turned up some leads, but ultimately they failed to pan out. I know you all wanted to see this stuff, Lord knows I did too, but it just couldn't be located. Stephen King got back to me saying that he didn't have a copy of it either, so there goes... That long-standing urban myth. It may still be out there sitting on a shelf somewhere, but it has not been discovered in time for this edition. Now, some of that may actually be true, and especially in the fact that because this we're talking 1986, so it's very possible that any trims that were done to the film at the time, the those extra trims literally may have just been destroyed, unfortunately. You know, that was way back before director's cuts and all that kind of stuff really kind of meant anything. A lot of companies, they would just destroy the extra footage. They didn't see any need to keep it around. Number three, this edition utilizes a new HD master made a couple of years ago, but it did undergo some significant color correction to fix some of the issues that have plagued some other Blu-rays in other territories. And finally, number four, there are a lot of bonus features on this that I sincerely hope people appreciate. I spent over a week in Wilmington getting loads of great material on the movie, including footage of a certain iconic truck face that was revealed to me during my time there. Anyway, there's a lot to be said about this production, but for now, that's it. I hope that you guys enjoy the new Blu-ray as much as I did producing new features for it. So I don't know if there's going to be anything else. I mean, honestly, at this point, with Maximum Over, I mean, who knows? There could be... <laughs> You know, wait another couple days or could be another update to this release. Otherwise, I think it's just a matter of just waiting until it actually comes out, which again is October 23rd. So that's it for this video. I'm going to try and get uh, to some of the other updates. I just I don't want to make a video that's way too long. As always, like the video because it helps the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you're new here because uh, I definitely am, am loving seeing all the new people join. And obviously with all the comments and everything it's been really really just great kind of going back and forth with with all of you so thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one